Hi everyone, Jeremy here with JM Photography and in this video we're going to talk about how to print to PDF via an iPad or really any iOS device. Um, I've wanted to know how to do this for a long time and I just figured it out not too long ago uh, and so I wanted to share that with everybody. So if you come over here to your email, um, I've got an email queued up right here and um, not at the very top right hand corner but just below that are a bunch of dots. And if you click on those dots, it's going to give you a little menu that gives you three options. And if you click on the print option there, um, it's going to create a print preview and it's going to ask you which print method you'd like to print to. And if you pick air print, it's going to create a PDF for you. And this is where I always got stuck because I'd come over and select printer and then it would think because I don't have any air printers set up. But if you actually on this very first page that's checked off right here, um, pinch to zoom, so that's two fingers from the center diagonally outwards, it'll actually zoom it into a PDF. And once you have it zoomed into a PDF here, um, as you can see on the right hand side, there is a bunch of uh, pages. So it's printed all three pages here for me. And in the top right hand corner is a sharing button. Now if I click on the sharing button, I can select a bunch of different options in here. Um, I can copy it. I could send it right over to my iMac here. So we could do something like that there. And that'll actually send over it as a PDF to the iMac. But the one that I like to use because sometimes I'm out on the go and I'm only ha only have my iPad is just saving it to Dropbox. And so if I click on Dropbox right here, it'll have my saved locations that I used to have because I also use this a fair bit for business receipts. Right now we're just going to use transfer and it's got the file name and everything right there. And we're going to hit save. And in this case, I've already tested this once to make sure that it worked. Uh, it's going to ask if I want to replace the file and we can do so there. And it's going to upload it to um, uh, to Dropbox. Now, once it's been uploaded, uh, you can just click on the done button right here and go cancel because we don't need that anymore. Uh, and if we go out of here and go into Dropbox and we pop into our Dropbox right here, uh, you're going to see in the files folder, if we go into the transfer folder here, um, that our PDF is right here. And I can kind of scroll through the whole entire PDF and see all the information on it. Uh, I can even now save this over to Acrobat. So if I click on here, right here, I can go export. And we can go like open in. And once you're in here, you could import it to Acrobat or you could put it into something like iBooks if that's what you use uh, or anything like that. I prefer to use Acrobat, so I'll just show you what that looks like. Uh, you can go import to Acrobat and then it's going to open it up in Adobe Acrobat Reader for me. Um, so the nice thing about this is it's really easy to flip through the PDF and uh, mark it up or you know make any changes to it you could also put it into something like notability now if you wanted to um, or you can just you know it makes it easy to read while you're on the go uh, here so um, that's a real clean easy way to um, print to PDF on all iOS uh, devices this also works on any iPhone uh, and whatnot so thanks so much for watching um, if you guys ever have any questions just let me know I'm always happy to answer them Put them in the comments below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Till next time. Cheers.